DIY or Die, Walker Vapor Group LLC, or any of its associates do not condone nor encourage the use of nicotine, vapor products, or any mood-altering substances without the explicit consent of a physician. The content viewable on this channel is strictly for entertainment purposes only and not meant to be seen as informational or educational. Must be 21 years or older to view these materials. Welcome back to another episode of No Date, your personal walking, talking flavor review. My name is Emily, also known as Mel Nikon, and please join me in welcoming my other co-hosts, ID10T and Chiba Steba. How you boys doing tonight? Oh, doing pretty darn good. How you doing over there, Dave? I'm all right, you goofball. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling pretty silly, man. Uh, Go I ahead, fess reason. up. Uh, yeah, I for, for some reason thought it was Rose this week. Uh, so I mixed up all my rose stuff, and uh, we're not doing rose this week. It's blue raspberry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so uh, I am slightly unprepared. That's okay. You're just a week ahead. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Finally, I'm ahead of schedule. You know what you missed, man? What's that? By showing up one minute till the time to go live. <laughs> there was what? a couple. There were a couple of flies in here, and I said, "I'm gonna go get my gun." <laughs> they were like, what in the world? <laughs> it's this thing. It's this. Uh, oh, it's like it's a, gun? Yeah, the bug is, if you are not using one of these, you're not killing the flies right. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I it's heard so those things fun. are great. How does it work? It's great. Um, you just, it's spring action. You just do that. It's got a little safety on it. Just load salt in the top and then just point it at the fly and pull the trigger. Just blast regular salt. old table salt. And huh? just blast yeah. with a chunk of salt. Regular old table salt. <laughs> nice, like Ooh. a shotgun. Yep. <laughs> All That's right. Awesome. Well, despite what the thumbnail said, we're talking about blue raspberries this week. Well, Looks everyone, like I wasn't the everyone only one except for Chiba. <laughs> and we yeah. have a special guest to uh, help us out tonight. It's His name is Rugly. How are you doing? Hey, everybody. I'm doing pretty good. Good yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming on the show and helping us out tonight. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Yeah, you're a big fan of blue raspberries? Uh, I'm not, actually. I think that they're all pretty much garbage. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> this will be oh, fun. Man. Well, before <laughs> we get grateful. into each one of them and why they're garbage, why don't we give away some flavors from Flavora? Uh, hey, this, some of those aren't garbage. Exactly. Hey. So this is the berry flavor pack. Uh, it's got alpine strawberry, berry blend, black currant, blackberry blossom, blueberry, boysenberry, cranberry, ice, jammy berry, raspberry, red raspberry, strawberry, strawberry cream, strawberry filling, strawberry smash, and sweetness. Man, that's a good one just for the sweetness. boysenberry and cranberry. So what we're going to do, let me share screen here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and grab the URL and go on over to our handy dandy Reddit giveaway winner and select a winner. Let's see here. Jedi Mind 79, he or she says, I have only ever tried one blue raspberry, and that was Flavor West. I don't remember what percentage it was, but I'm guessing it was 5%, and it was harsh as hell. I also have Cap Blue Raspberry Cotton Candy. I have yet to give this a try. Well, That's congratulations, right. Jedi Mind. Yeah, congrats, man. You got a nice pack yeah. there. And if you guys want to get some blue raspberry flavors, head on over to bullcityflavors.com slash noted. Or click this little noted uh, link here at the top, mm -hmm. and you can get 10% off all the blue raspberry flavors they have in stock. Sour Pretty blue nifty. Raspberry. Pretty nifty. Pretty That's cool stuff, man. I'm so I'm so glad they do that. It gives people a real good chance to 
to try some of this stuff. Yeah, that's really Especially awesome. because it makes it so easy to find it, you know? Just bam, click on the noted tab, you're there. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Bull City. All right. So as per usual, Dave is an overachiever and has way more flavors than the rest of us. I think Rugly oh, might have one as I do. <laughs> oh, really? Rugly, uh, how many I have, flavors do you have? Uh, 12. Oh, Almost, okay. Yeah. Almost. Um, so, yeah, it... <laughs> You know, it seems like blueberry, blue raspberry would be easy because they're not trying to emulate a natural thing, you know? Like blue right. ra raspberry is <laughs> already... supposed to be artificial. A, yeah, it's already an artificial candy-type flavor. It doesn't exist in nature. So, like, what's the deal? Yeah, but, what, why can't you make this good? Yeah, no, a lot of these have problems ranging from, like, almost unvapable to just a minor issue or two, even the best ones. So it's like... Mm -hmm. yeah whatever and we did this before like two years ago and i had around six or seven flavors now i've tried twice as many as before and i'm like not even uh none the better for it yeah even <laughs> even like the best one can't be used as a solo like main note blue raspberry like they all need yeah. to be layered somehow or helped well. out Oh, hold on. One of those little bastards is still alive. Oh, God. <laughs> Get him. Shoot him. Oh, got him. <laughs> I love when they go flying off in some different direction upside down because they're dead. Okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. So I got a question for you guys. Um, I've heard good things about the uh, Flavor West Razzleberry. Does that count as a I think it should. It wasn't on our list of, of things we tried, but I think it should because to me... That is the the best blue raspberry flavor. Yeah, because <laughs> it's a, it's just a very candied raspberry, which is what blue raspberry is. Right. You know. Yes, but even a candied there's blue raspberry is like a distinctive yeah. flavor, and I'm not sure that it's raspberry blue. actually tastes blue. <laughs> it's a candy it's raspberry, right. and it's good, but is it blue? Mm, okay. I don't know. What yeah, does I don't. Blue taste like. <laughs> Tastes like blue raspberry. Have you never what? done blue dabba dee dabba die? What I want out of a blue raspberry is, you know those Jones sodas? Yes, yes. You know what I'm absolutely. talking about? The blue raspberry Jones mm -hmm. soda. That's what I want out of a blue raspberry flavor. <laughs> yeah, and wow. None of them so come good. anywhere close to that. I was going to say, you're going to be wanting for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want a blue raspberry uh, sour straw. Yeah. Or a blue, blue raspberry, raspberry Jolly Rancher. I love blue raspberry, man. It's one of my or just favorite a, Or an icy. Just an icy would be great. Yeah, the icies are good. Um. So anyway, I got 14 flavors. All right. 14 flavors. 14 flavors. I ranked them. We are free to disagree about that. In fact, I hope we do. Because that makes it more fun. But mm. um, I put one on the bottom. It's definitely not the worst flavor I tried this week. It's not even close to the worst flavor. I just put yeah. it at the bottom because it's not blue raspberry. Um, I mm. thought that Flavor West Blue Ice might be a blue raspberry flavor. Oh, okay. It uses a picture of what looks like blue raspberry slush for some reason, right? Like a yeah, you think blue So ice. I tried it in case it might be. It's called Blue Ice. I was thinking maybe it was like blue raspberry with some cooling. Um, actually, it's literally just Flavor West Blueberry, which is a fine blueberry. But it's just Flavor West blueberry and menthol. Oh, geez. That's that's all it is. It it's it's fairly well balanced, so that neither one overwhelms the other. And I like it. Although I think if you already have Flavor West blueberry, which I have a giant bottle of, and some menthol, it it seems yeah. Why do you fairly need unnecessary that? to own? Like, why would you need to buy it already mixed together? Mixing flavors together is what we do. That's right. So all yeah. right. But that's that's what Flavor West Blue Ice is. It's not blue raspberry. It's blueberry. Um, the most terrible blue raspberry that I have tried is still the same as it was two years ago. <laughs> it's uh, TFA Blue Raspberry. What? Mm, it didn't okay. get any better? No, it didn't get any better. <laughs> it Rasp didn't get any Rasp. better. And it didn't get any better by comparison. And changing the amount of it uh, didn't get any better either. It's just plain terrible. Um, somewhere between five and seven percent for me, it goes from tasting like not much of anything to tasting like blue raspberry Jolly Rancher themed hairspray. 
and it just leaves a, a disgusting chemical aftertaste in my mouth that I mean I had to rinse out. It's so unpleasant. Yeah. Yeah. At about at about five percent, I get a really nasty plastic off note with that one. Yeah. It's like they try to do the top end, the bright top heavy thing, and it just comes out chemically. Is not good. Yeah. It lingers. The the chemical, whatever the hell is going on there, is is lingering and terrible. The lingerer. Um, He's a lingerer. Yep. All right. Um, next up, I have Silver Cloud Estates Blue Raspberry, oh, which God. I got from uh, <laughs> DIY Vapor Supply. They have those rebranded as Sterling Cloud, but it's Sterling silver. Cloud. It's Silver Cloud Estates is, is the actual the real brand. I don't know what the, what's going on with the rebranding there, but. Um, Silver Cloud Estates Blue Raspberry was floral and perfumey, and it didn't even taste like a blue raspberry. It tastes more like it's supposed to be like a currant or a gooseberry or something. It's not a candy-ish flavor. It's it's tart, but it also has something funky, kind of like almost savory going on in there. Yeah, it's very reminiscent of uh, of bilberry ripe. It yes. has this dark, this dark organic oh, really? taste. Yeah, yeah, it tastes like it's supposed to be something natural, and I don't. It wouldn't be terrible underneath that florality if it were named something else. But blue raspberry, really, and plus with the floral, it's just a mess. It's not a good thing. That sounds more yeah, like it what, sounds pretty bad. Yeah, no, I was thinking currant or gooseberry, but when you said bilberry ripe, yeah, like the flavor art blueberry ripe. And, and, I mean, Billberry, right? And it's so just it's like weird. earthy. Yeah, earthy. Like, mm. why would that be anything, any part of a blue raspberry flavor, right? Yeah, like yeah, it's like if you take Billberry ripe and mix it with dirt. That's a shame. <laughs> you know, when we learned to stop testing Sterling's cloud. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll never give up. There's a gym in there. There's somewhere. got to I'm be a good you. one. Oh my god! They wouldn't still okay. be selling flavor right. if they didn't have something. But look at it this way: <laughs> if he, if this is a big if, big you if. ever actually do find that gem, and you share it with this lovely community, people are going to be buying all kinds of Sterling Cloud, thinking that that's not the only one, and then they're going <laughs> to no, because we've been warning them for years, making them vape shit flavors. No, we've been warning them for literally years. Dave's been trying them. We'll let them know <laughs> when something comes that's like, wow, this is really good. Um, also, not really good. Uh, Mullenberry Blue Rock Candy. Blue Rock Candy. Yeah, it's first of all, it's very weak in concentration for the price, which is annoying. But wow. it's also deeply, deeply weird. It tastes like raspberry banana candy. And it has raspberry some, banana. Yes, and it has <laughs> some cooling in it too, like a touch of coolada. Oh, that's I, weird. I don't actually hate it, but it's just so strange that it has a really strong runty banana base underneath that candyish raspberry that's not clearly blue. And yeah. I could do without the cooling. Actually, I like <laughs> this flavor quite a bit, but if I wanted a blue raspberry, I wouldn't reach for it. Uh, for me, it has a very strong uh, citrus note hmm. that's kind of reminiscent of lemon Sicily, but it, it does have that cooling thing going on, and I really don't get a whole lot of berry out of it. There's there's something a little juicy in there and maybe a little bit dark that's reminiscent of a berry, but it kind of, the cooling in it is not explicitly culotta to me, though. It's kind of like a weird cross between culotta and fizz. It's very fizzy. Okay, interesting. I tested you, it at three percent. Did it not taste like banana to you? I didn't get a single note of banana out of that at all, huh. and I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I just tried that flavor like for the first time. Never had never tried it before. I might go back and retry it and see if I can pick up on any banana in there. But yeah, did you have the mullenberry blue rock candy, Emily? I did not. No. Uh, I tasted it and I was just like, okay, banana in a blue rock candy. That doesn't make <laughs> sense, but whatever. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. But, you wouldn't uh, happen to have it handy there, would you? I do not, no. Darn it. Okay. It's like, we can settle this right now. You're going to test that and <laughs> tell me if there's banana in there or if I've Settles lost my mind. 
<laughs> um, I tried Fairy's Finest Blue Raspberry. Fairy's Finest. How'd that, how'd that one go? Um, it wasn't, it's, it's, we're getting into things that aren't too terrible now. It, it does taste like blue raspberry up front, but it's very soft. That's the one thing I noticed. You would expect a blue raspberry, like a fake artificial, blatantly artificial candy flavor to be bold and like in your face, like a blue, like a blue raspberry Jolly Rancher is being soft seems to be a fairly common denominator among a lot of these. And it's it's very soft and and more than a little soapy too. I also, you know, my I have that deal with soapy things taste soapy to me that probably shouldn't. So that's why I'm hoping to get y'all's input as well on a lot of these. But it seemed more than a little soapy to me, and it just I don't know why it's so hard to make a blue raspberry flavor that vapes with some punch to it, but it's soft. Right. I also have the Fairy's Finest Blue Raspberry right here. I uh, tasted it at 3%. And yeah, it was a, it's a pretty weak, you know, berry flavor. Uh, it's a little bit candy-like. And when you bump it up, uh, basically any higher than that, I do get a lot of soap. The okay, thing good. that it's bothers me. me, no, it's definitely not just you. The thing that bothers mm-hmm. me most about this concentrate is that it it, it is blue. Like it's actually oh, blue. Wow, look at that. The amount the amount of blue food dye that exists in this in this flavoring bothers me. Look at how blue that is. Jeez, yeah, that's not natural. Yeah, that's <laughs> that not color good. doesn't exist so, in nature. This one this one was actually at the bottom of my list because oh my I'm gosh. genuinely terrified to use it. It's gonna oh, it's gonna turn me in it's gonna turn me into Veronica from Charlie <laughs> and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> I mean if it tasted yeah. good, I would ignore the blue, but thank you for showing that to everyone. <laughs> Come out looking like Papa Smurf. Yeah. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, that's so funny. let's see what did I do next. And that was the fairy's finest. That was the fairy's, fairy's finest. finest blue raspberry. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I don't flavor like... West blue raspberry. It is what I have next. It seems like it could be made to work somehow if you could cover up some off notes. Um, yeah, I remember this one being or tame okay. them. It's a little bitter in like a medicine-y kind of way up top and a little soapy in the base. Not super soapy like the fairy's finest, but a little soapy to me. But at least it tastes like blue raspberry and not like banana coolant or whatever the fuck that <laughs> mulberry blue crack rock is. And it has a fair amount of flavor to it. It's not soft like the fairy's finest so much. So it's something that I could maybe work with if I had to. Yeah. Yeah. So with this one, uh, I found the sweet spot right around 4%. Um, but it, it does have quite a bit of flavor, but no real body and there's no real bottom notes. It's also very reminiscent of cherry rather than, rather than oh, really? a sweeter berry, like raspberry or blue raspberry. It, it's like yeah, a blue cherry to me. <laughs> blue cherry. Wouldn't that be a flavor? To no, have? that's true. It's not very <laughs> sweet. It's not any sweeter than VG is. That's, I didn't think about that, but yeah, it, I remember that that's, that pretty much covers it. So that's that one. Um, one that I did try that was very sweet was the Capella Blue Raspberry Cotton Candy. Yes, I like this one. I've tried it at various amounts, and it mostly tastes just like what it says. Like, yep. But it has a very strong cotton candy flavor, and even yeah, a cotton is- candy aftertaste. It's very sweet. It does have some identifiable blue raspberry, but it kind of mm-hmm. takes a backseat to the cotton candy. And it also mm-hmm. tastes at, at, at like a main flavor concentration, like you really just want to vape blue raspberry cotton candy. It tastes a little bitter, like it's burnt or scorched yeah. a little bit. Like um, it's overspun or something. If yeah, like <laughs> overspun cotton candy. Like you left that in the, you left that in the cotton hot. candy machine too long, my friend. Um, <laughs> but it's so good. Like, but that's I- a like four or five percent. I've had it work really well down low, one to two percent to sweeten yes. another blue raspberry or other candy berry and stuff. If you want to make anything that resembles cotton candy, this is the cotton candy to use. Yeah, you think so? It's the strongest, boldest cotton candy flavor. Like most cotton candy flavors, as a cotton fun. candy, not just <laughs> EM, they get lost, right? They get yeah, buried totally. really easily. This will stand up. You know, so if you want to make like a cotton candy flavored ice cream or something, this is the one to use. And I really, I really enjoy this one. How would you, what would be the sweet spot for that where you're getting enough flavor out of it, 
to I wouldn't make... go any higher than three. Okay. I would, yeah, I'd stick to three as like a main note. One and a half to two or so as like a sweetener for other candy berry stuff? Yeah. Okay. Three is a main note I could see. Any more than that, I really that burntness starts to get yeah. really unpleasant. Um next I have, and this one, this is getting this is getting up there on the list, and usually Euro flavors is pretty close to the bottom. But I thought that Euro flavors blue raspberry was not bad. It's oh, a bolder oh, flavor good. for a blue raspberry. It really tastes like blue raspberry candy. It's tangy and sweet. Um I it tastes a little chemical at six percent, like a little hint of toilet bowl cleaner. And at 3%, it was a much lighter flavor. And I didn't try messing with it further than that. But I feel like there's probably a sweet spot for it somewhere between 3 and 6. Um, I did notice okay. that at both concentrations, it has a fairly prominent, odd kind of dry, powdery, or chalky base. Almost like one of those bottle cap candies, even though those don't come in blue raspberry. Or like a sweet tart type situation. Yeah, yeah, okay. Kind of like one-on-one -on -one powdered sugar or Wonder Flavors candy stick candy. Mm -hmm. With that, one of those or both mixed together with like a, a, an above average blue raspberry top note. Um, I think the, that candy base, that peculiar and distinctive candy base could um, limit, limit what you could use it for. But it could also be perfect for some things. So there's that. I don't think it's a bad flavor by any means. Yeah. So uh, with the with the with the Euro flavors blue raspberry, um, I get I get a little bit of a um, I don't want to say it's a medicinal quality, but it's almost like it's kind of acidic. Um, it, mm, anywhere higher yeah. than four percent, but below that, it's actually quite pleasant. Uh, I get a lot of sweetness, and there's a really pleasant mouthfeel with it. Before we go any further, though, I want to pump the brakes and go back to Capella blue raspberry cotton candy. Absolutely. Um, because you said in there that uh, when you push it up to like five, you get a weird like burnt or overspun cotton candy flavor. Uh -huh. And to me, that comes off as acetylpyrazine. When I was uh, single flavor okay. testing that flavor, um, that makes I tested perfect it, sense. I tested it at first at 5% and immediately it just tasted like Captain Crunch to me. Huh, like weird. like right oh, out of that. Really? And not, not Captain that's Crunch strange. necessarily, but uh, Oops All Berries Captain Crunch. <laughs> nice. I actually made a recipe where I use that uh, with the with the blue raspberry slush to to mimic Captain Crunch with cereal twenty seven, and it, it's actually very very good. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, that explains why it would taste kind of burnt. But yeah, when you push it up that high, I get I get acetylpyrazine. Okay, mm -hmm. there's probably some acetylpyrazine, and there's something trying they're trying to give the cotton candy some body, so it's not Bye. so it's not so light and areas some yeah, of the other cotton candy flavors mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It, it does have body i like the way that um if, you're, if you want to talk about cotton candy flavors i like the way that flavora cotton candy uses a bit of vanilla for that and yeah. i like the way that um loran's uses uh oh shit what's it got in there <laughs> i forget I now loran's got something uh, uh triacetin oh triacetin Loran's got triacetin in it that carries the body quite a bit. And the Flavora has a hint of vanilla, which you can taste, but it makes it gives it a nice mouthfeel. But having some a little minute amount of AP in there makes sense too, to make it have some power. Yeah, just texture. a little AP penis goes a long way. <laughs> oh, God. I knew it. I knew it was coming. <laughs> we cannot talk about AP without that joke. That's right. It's always going to come up. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Hey, yo. <laughs> I knew we kept right, him around next, for some let's reason. Let's talk about the next flavor. <laughs> uh, the next one I have is one-on-one uh, -on -one square candy blue raspberry. Square what? candy. Square candy blue raspberry. It's not they have a one that's just blue raspberry candy. This is blue. Ooh, this is square candy. Square so candy blue raspberry. 
Oh, okay. um, I don't think it's a Jolly Rancher. Yeah, I mean, if it's, it's supposed a Starburst. To be, it's, yeah, there you go. It's a Starburst. Yeah, it's a Starburst. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. The blue raspberry flavor is very light, uh, but there's nothing wrong with it that I could tell. The base is really good for a taffy-like candy. It's smooth, it's sweet, thick, kind of chewy, maybe a hint of vanilla, like using a really small amount of uh, vanilla swirl, TFA vanilla swirl to thicken a fruit candy and get that thick, thick mouthfeel. Um, it's a good base for that kind of candy. It just needs mm. a lot of help with the actual blue raspberry part because it's so light. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. This this one is actually towards the top of my list just because um, the blueberry the blue raspberry is not unpleasant. Um, it's all. very no, blue. It's not. It's not it, it doesn't it doesn't try to mimic something else. And it's not just just raspberry. It's it's a very blue flavor, but the the creamy taffiness to it is 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 really really good. Nice. Yeah, I just yeah, have to. Like all I have to do to turn it into a blue raspberry taffy is figure out what blue raspberry I want to add to it. Maybe a little sweetener, <laughs> and then I'm good to go. Okay, that's pretty so, good. At least it leaves you, um, you know, with some building blocks. I mean, it could be a two. It could be a two and a half ingredient recipe, and you'd have blue raspberry taffy or blue raspberry starburst. So yeah, no, it's a good. It's a good flavor. It's just weak on the blue raspberry part. Yeah. But it's good to know that there's a flavor out there that does that, like, base part well. Yeah, and I think you could prop. I mean, the, like uh, Rugly said, the blue raspberry part does taste very blue. But at the same time, it's also very light. So you could probably, you could probably blast it out with another candy, can, bright, strong candy fruit flavor and get just the base. Yeah. yeah, the one of the recipes that I tried is a cherry Laffy Taffy, and it uses this in it to get the taffy flavor with an aware of cherries. It is amazing. And it uses mm. the cherry to get the okay, then yeah, that makes perfect yeah. sense. There, I could think of no reason not to try it. It's that. really, really good. Yeah, and the and that uh, the in aware of cherries is a really good choice for that because it's so top heavy and thin that you would just be covering up the light blue raspberry flavor on top with that and not in, not interfering with the taffy part. Nice. Awesome. It's, it's a, somebody somebody who made that is really smart. And well, it's my recipe, so thank you. Oh, it was your <laughs> recipe. Yes. Okay, I get it now. Well, it looks like you're a smart guy. A smart Big fella. brain time on I'm gushing tonight. over here. Wait, you um, a smart fella or a fart smeller? Can't remember. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Um, the next one is the that I have is a one-on-one blue raspberry candy, not the square candy, but just candy. Um, okay. This one is, I like this one a lot, just for the fact that the the flavor's a little basey, like it's not very bold or top heavy. But what I like is that if you give it a few days to steep, it like coat your palate like a melted Jolly Rancher. Like Ooh, that's nice. It's got that sticky like sweetness to it. It is very, very syrupy. Yes. I like that. And but it does need help. It's very basic. <laughs> like it it's you know, it doesn't have that bright tartness that you look for in a blue raspberry. Do you know what I got in the part where I expected the bright tartness to be? What'd you get? A lot of throat hit. Really? Like, oh, really? I, 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 you know, uh, you're going to call me baby throat and just go ahead and get that out of the way. But <laughs> I found it to be a little harsh, particularly for the light amount of flavor that's coming out of it on top. Like the top note's yeah. thin and it's a lot, it's, it's hard on the throat for not that much flavor in return. Did you try it after it's steep for a couple days? I tried it after it steeped for like five or six days. And it was still harsh for you. It, yeah, it was. I mean, it wasn't like the most harsh flavor ever. Like, oh, my God, I'm dying here. But it was like, you know, TFA Juicy Peach level harsh. Yeah, I actually um, I actually don't care for this flavor at all. But I think that it's um, it is a really good like sweetener for blue raspberries. If you use oh, okay. it down super duper low, you don't get a whole lot of that throat hit. And it, it kind of not only sweetens up the recipe, but it also kind of just adds to the depth of the blue raspberry. Mm-hmm. Well, it has good. a lot yeah, of depth, that's for sure. And blue raspberry definitely needs to be sweet. So I think that sounds like it could be a great addition to your arsenal. 
Yep. You yeah, said it, Chiba. Yeah, it's not a bad one. Um, next, I have Liquid Barn Blue Raspberry. Um, okay, I remember liking this one pretty good. After trying all these other ones, it this one seems higher above average than it did before. Um, <laughs> it's pretty weak concentration wise, um, but yeah. on, but on par for most Liquid Barn flavors. Um, it's fairly bold flavored at seven percent. Uh, not as much as I'd like, but um, not as soft. It as is full. Others. It is fuller than a lot of them. Um, nine percent, I think, is what Liquid Barn recommended, and that to me starts to taste like blue raspberry candy with some blades of grass stuck to it. Like, <laughs> okay. Just a couple of blades of fresh cut grass. Like you dropped your candy in the grass and picked yes. it up and still ate it. <laughs> yeah, and picked it up and still ate it. Like the same way that a that a <laughs> like the same way a green apple can get a little grassy. You know how green apple flavors can sometimes get real yeah, little grassy? Yeah, sure. Especially yeah. With um, peel. yeah, exactly. Uh but seven percent liquid barn blue raspberry is still more flavorful than a lot of other blue raspberries. I have to actually search for that tiny bit of grassiness. It's not like in my face. I think it's just because I tried it higher before and I got it. So, you know, it's kind of a mind trick. Yeah. Um, it's sweet. It's a little Very flat. Sweet. Not a lot of nuance there, but that's sort of expected for a candy flavor, right? It does have mm. a, a little bit of th thinness to it. You know, like it's it's sweet and candied, but... Like, there's something missing, you know? Well, it also doesn't taste exactly like any blue raspberry candy that I've ever ingested before. Like, <laughs> it clearly is a fake candy raspberry flavor, and it sort of tastes some kind of blue, maybe. But it really doesn't just, like... It's not like the identifiable blue that we all know and love. It's not so, so blue raspberry that you're just like, wow, that tastes exactly like, you know, a blue raspberry Jolly Rancher or blue raspberry slushy. It's you, there's something just so slightly off that it's kind of like like an off-brand product. It's you know? funny to me that you that you pointed out grass because I I had in my notes here that um, have you ever pushed um ca what is it called Capella green apple hard candy up really really high? I've pushed. Have you it ever done that before? Pretty high. <clears throat> like how high I we get, talking? Uh, well, I mean, like I don't know, above fifteen. No, Whoa, I've never done okay, that. yeah, that's I. <laughs> okay, so, so I get a really, a really strange, like off note, um, like if you cooked candy in a pan and then you put the pan back on the burner without, without turning the heat off, and it just kind of caramelized the sugar on the outside of there, though. But when you said grass, that that's what it is. It's not like it's. I, I couldn't place it. I I didn't know how to describe it in my notes, but that's definitely what it is. When you push this flavor, I have six percent as my sweet spot in my notes, and when for I pushed it up bond? much higher than that, yeah, yeah, and when I pushed it up much bond. higher than that, I got that weird off note, and it, yeah, it's grass. Yeah, it smacked me upside the head the first time I tried it. Like, oh, grass! What the hell? But seven is quite a bit better. So if six, you have six as a sweet spot. That sounds that sounds about right to me. But and it's, it's certainly not a bad blue raspberry flavor. I have no, it's not at all. I, I it's it's near the top of my list. But I've yeah. I've gotten that from before from other apples, and I've never placed it as grass before. So achievement unlocked. Awesome. <laughs> uh, green apples also do a an acetone thing sometimes. If you yeah, like fingernail polish too remover. Too yeah, fingernail polish that's remover. That's not hard to that's not hard to name though. <laughs> yeah, no, that's pretty identifiable. Um, <laughs> It's e it's either going to be with green with blue res I mean, blah, blah, with green apples. It's either going to be grass or fingernail polish remover, or a couple of them I think are both. Yeah. But um, the next one I have is uh, OSDIY blue raspberry slush. One stop. So I have heard great slush. things about this one. So I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say about it. This one's pretty good too. Um, it's very similar. To one on one blue raspberry candy, in the fact that it's very like sticky sweet and like bassy. Like it doesn't have that tart, bright top note. It's a little bit brighter, but it, it's not, it doesn't have like that high end that you're looking for, you know? It's remarkable how well they've emulated the syrupy, sweet mm -hmm. taste of a blue icy in the base, but yeah, it's not it's fairly easy. soft flavored. It's a slush. Like it's, you can 
tell the difference. Yeah, for sure. And I don't understand. I don't know quite how they did that or how to explain it other than it really does taste like a blue, blue slush, but it's fairly soft. It's not thin because like Emily said, it's, it's a little bit bassy. It's got that sticky sweet thing going on, mm -hmm. but it's not super vibrant either. Yeah. It's just okay. kind of gentle flavor. Like it needs a bit more punch. Mm -hmm. And even though it is sticky syrupy sweet, I think it still needs even more like a more intense syrupy sweetness to really get that high fructose corn syrup down yeah and obviously I'm some cooling if a little bit of cap hibiscus would oh, yeah. help this flavor because no it, it does it, it does give it more of the syrupiness and it'll give it some brightness too no it it absolutely does yeah. the flavor just it's it's what it's supposed to be but it just needs some help to really get there i'm looking up a recipe right now i haven't tried it in a while but it's called blue Frost. Oh yes. Oh yes. Exify, right? Revisited. Revisited. That was go? I was just gonna mention that about the hibiscus. Um, I haven't actually tried a recipe that mixed the two together, but uh, that's kind of the go-to for when you want to make a slushy. But this flavor is extremely good. The part mm -hmm. about it that uh, you know that's really the highlight for me is the mouthfeel. You know, like you yeah. said, that's that 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 sticky high fructose corn syrup. It's almost like a cream but without any dairy notes. It really mm -hmm. sticks to your palate and it's just the most amazing mouthfeel. It is. Yeah, that's what I've heard is the mouthfeel is like, you know. And this is a prime mouth. example of if you want to make a little bit of like flavor west arousal berry in with it for more punch because okay. it's got plenty of blue flavor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it is a little bit lacking on the tartness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I did I only have a little two bit more. of arousal berry in there. I only have two more flavors to go, so we have a little time. I wanted to share this these two recipes with you with the one stop um, sure. okay, DIY cool. blue raspberry slush. Let's dive into it. It's it's two re recipes by the same person. It's a Pexified Blue Frost is the first one. It's an older recipe from 2016, but I think yeah, it still good. holds up fairly well. And it's um, you got eight percent of the OSD. That's one thing we forgot to mention about OSD. It's it's weak in concentration. You really got to crank it up. Um, okay. Friction's asking for a link to that. I'll give it one, and he may throw up the recipe. I don't know. Maybe he will. Yeah, I'm sure everybody'd love to see it. <clears throat> well, I'm yeah, just blue, doing. I'm just talking frost. about blue frost for background, really. Blue frost and blue frost revisited both are. I mixed them both up, and they are both really good mixes. And it kind of takes the best of two bad situations, you know, and, and it just, it makes it, makes it really good. Like it, Turns it makes it a complete delightful. blue raspberry. Yeah. The, the blue frost uh, recipe uses, uh, takes that 8% um, OSDIY blue raspberry slush and mixes it with 1% uh, Capella blue raspberry cotton candy, 2% flavor West pink champagne, 1% Flavora Raspberry, 1.5% TFA Raspberry Sweet, 1% Flavor West Razzleberry. There's your Razzleberry, Emily. 2% uh, mm -hmm. TFA Strawberry, mm -hmm. and 1% TFA Sweetener. And he apparently worked really hard on that one, but then he went and says the, the on Blue Frost Revisited, uh, at the bottom it says the original Blue Frost was 90% where I wanted it to be, and after working on it so long, I was satisfied with where it was at. Now it's 100% and officially done. So if you tried Blue Frost, please mix this up and let me know what you think. And does he goes, the version two still have the champagne in it? The version two oh, does wow. still have the champagne in it. The I'm, changes. I'm, I'm intrigued. Yeah. The, 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 he went, he goes on. He, if you read the description, I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, but if you go to Blue Frost Revisited on all the flavors, you'll see. Um, he goes through and explains why he dropped out all of these things and added these other things. And he's still got the 8% blue raspberry slush. He's still got 1% uh, blue raspberry cotton candy by Capella in there. Still got 2% pink champagne. Um, and the still 2 got some TFA strawberry. Still the 2% TFA strawberry. Yeah. Still some till, still some TFA raspberry sweet. Um, but he dropped took out, out the took out raspberry. The raspberry. Yeah, took out the Razzleberry and the Favora Raspberry and added uh, Capella Hibiscus um, and some WS-23 because, I mean, it's it should be cold, right? Yeah, it is uh, icy after all. <laughs> yeah, so, 
Yep. That is uh, the Blue Frost Revisited. Was I mean, I was impressed by Blue Frost. And then I tried Blue Frost Revisited. I was like, holy crap. That is a blue raspberry slush. And that, that is hibiscus, amazing. That hibiscus, man. Yep. That hibiscus takes it to another level. It does. Yeah, the strawberry in there kind of intrigues me a little bit. Right? I wonder. And, you yeah. know, normally with TFA strawberry, I get like that really plastic yeah. plasticky chemical but not in this it gets buried and you just get the the, the thickness of the strawberry right the candiness that helps right. everything else so it's more there for like texture maybe a little bit of sweetness and stuff. Uh, yeah and i think uh, it's down at two percent helps <clears throat> too yeah i think it may also help sort of blend some of these things together mm -hmm. yeah but, i always love when people do a little bit of like flavor bending with stuff like this and the, the pink champagne even takes that slushy texture to another level. Yeah. The whole thing really works together. It's it pretty does. amazing, the Blue Froster. If you want to vape a blue raspberry slushy, you don't have to spend all your time creating a recipe. There's already an amazing one out there. Um, yeah, good job so, with the Apex, man. That was, that's a good, good recipe. Yeah, you can taste that a lot of hard work went into that recipe, trying to get it balanced yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Um, the That's next one I have, good. you can't have. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? <laughs> you can't have it. You can't ah, have it. Ah, dang it! You're not going to share with us. No, I'm going to tell you. You just can't have any. Um, <laughs> it's uh Flavora Blue Raspberry. Ah, like, okay. What? I agree uh, with the placement got a blue raspberry. in your list with this, Dave. It is a uh, pre-release flavor that they were kind enough to let me try. Uh, uh, just in time for this thing. No fair. Very nice. Yeah, I, I cheated, it, right? I and cheated. it is the yin to the number one's yang. Uh, on, it may, man. it may well be. Yeah, I haven't actually tried the two together. I but, have. Uh, well, Ooh, Emily okay. can enlighten us about that, but um, it's yeah, it's really it's like full flavored, but not complete. Like it's very bassy mm. and deep, and it's it. It's kind of like um, round, you know, like yeah, like, it's fat it, almost. It's, it's missing, almost rich in a way. Yes. Oh, okay. It is, it's it, like, but it's missing some tartness. It's like a mouthful okay. of blue raz gummy bear after it's already been mostly chewed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because after, because you know, if you chew on the mouthful of blue raz gummy bear, after a while, that instant shock of blue raspberry flavor is gonna mellow out a little bit. But you're still mm -hmm. gonna taste it. But mm -hmm. also, you're gonna. It's so thick and sweet it and is. like almost rich in a way you can taste how many calories are in there. <laughs> it's a lot, by the way. Um, you're killing I me. I thought it was strange that Flavora didn't have a blue raspberry because like everyone has a blue raspberry. And they've got 50 million raspberries, so why yeah, not? Yeah, but this one, <laughs> they've, got, they've got two raspberries. You goofball. <laughs> um this one is very different sort of blue raspberry compared to most it's it i think sometimes that over at four they're just a bunch of hipsters and they're just like trying to be different for different yeah sakes. let's just be unique yeah <laughs> let's just do it different let's do this let's do this thing that everyone else has only do it totally different um but yeah it's no it's real freaking bassy it's, it's sweet and yeah. like emily said deep thick um it doesn't Robust yeah robust it doesn't it's missing that tart high tart top note that you're looking for in a, like a bright candy raspberry mm. but you know that punchy sour almost sour anyway tart yeah. thing that that it should have but the other ones don't have this deep heavy base to them and uh the favor blue raspberry doesn't go floral or grassy or soapy like too many of the other ones do mm -hmm. um so yeah, I, I I would definitely use it to fill in the base of one of these more top heavy candy raspberries, or or tart it up. You know, I like, I got to thinking before the show, I should have mixed up a version with the uh, this with TFA raspberry, not sweet, mm -hmm. because TFA raspberry, even though it's not blue, this is plenty blue, by the way. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> blue. It's um. It's very bright and tart, and mm -hmm. you know it's got that. It's very punchy, so I'm thinking that also would be a good combination. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, it probably would. It probably would yeah. like 
So with that, you're putting the emphasis more on the Flavora Blue Raspberry and using the other to fix it? Yes, just to fill in the hole instead of the opposite. Instead of using Flavora Blue Res to fill in the hole of TFA Raspberry, you would use TFA Raspberry to fill in that hole of Flavora Blue Raspberry, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, it, yeah. you're just putting the focus in a different place. But yeah, yeah. no, that would, that would probably work great. Um, it definitely seems like a tool that was missing from my collection because of that, the way that it's so bassy. Um, I tried yes. it at 3% and, and it's great. Um, I tried it at 4% and it really wasn't an off note as, as much as like threatening to have one if I pushed it any further. <laughs> it seems like if you do push it too high, maybe, maybe you know, try oh, direct to lung around five percent it might get a little funky in that that current sort of gooseberry not a candy kind of way but three seems to be really really well uh working for me just as a single flavor and i just want to just want to top it off with something yeah. you know three is where i tested it as well cool i can't wait to try this one <laughs> yeah, yeah i wonder um come out for you guys do you, you know, know what else the... you know what else might work to do to add to it I don't know if the, if it would ruin the top note and not have it be raspberry enough, but if you had some Flavora Sour Apple, mm -hmm. or maybe if you were really, really gentle, or maybe even made a dilution, if you had some um, Inaware Lemon Mix. Okay. Oh, maybe. Pop, pop some of that, that over on there. You you might be able to get away with using it as the only blue raspberry in a recipe of in a blue raspberry recipe. You have uh, yeah, some if you were just looking to add it. a little bit of tartness to it, that would definitely be an option i mean i kind of still want the high note to smack more of blue raspberry yeah. but the tartness is the main thing that's missing and some yeah. sour apple or a little tiny touch of lemon or both so that it doesn't get too apple or too lemon would would probably do that it might yeah the favora sour apple sounds like a good idea just got to keep it low enough that it doesn't start tasting like apple instead of blue raspberry yeah, but this sounds like a really um, great addition to the blue raspberry, you know, flavorings that we have. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, with a lot of them being, um, you know, light on the flavor, you know, not quite punchy enough. It seems like this one, you know, is really delivering on that flavor. I mean, it doesn't so much punch. The thing is, that's the that's the problem <laughs> is that it doesn't so much punch, but it's more like a hug, <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like a big old blue raspberry bear hug instead of a big old <laughs> instead of a blue raspberry you know, sock Smack to the nose. The <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, one that does have a sock to the nose and the one that I put at number one, even though it's not perfect, um, Wonder Flavors Sour Blue Raspberry Candy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that one's I think great. I remember uh, trying that one. I think it's the best single blue raspberry flavor that I have. Um, it's not actually sour, but it is a bit tart up front. And mm -hmm. it, it's... It's not a single blue raspberry at flavor at all, though. It, it, it and needs it's help. a blue raspberry additive because <laughs> it's, it's very tart and very bright, but it has like no basiness to it at all. Yeah, I wouldn't it's not really call blue it enough. It's not <laughs> blue enough. I wouldn't necessarily call it thin, but it's very front loaded. And then after that initial tart like excellent blue raspberry flavor. It fades off into this bland, sweet thickness with like, it's like thick, but without any flavor. And it just, yeah. it's very, it's also very, very sweet. I'm almost a hundred percent certain this flavor comes with sucralose already in it. Uh, just oh, from yeah. tasting it. I haven't tried looking it up or trying to find the A data lot of on wonder it. flavors, flavors do. It's one of their older ones too. So you're going to want to use it. Well, um, I'm going to say between 5 and 7%. And if you be, push it up yeah. that high, I get a lot of soap. A lot of soap that high. That's oh, really? the problem with it for me. It's difficult to work with because too low is not enough flavor. And then yeah. once you get an adequate amount, it starts to get just a hint of laundry soap edge to it. Yeah. It, and then like I tried 7.5% trying to push the blue raspberry and get more out of it. It was quite soapy. I mean, quite yes. soapy. Um, the trick I learned to get plenty of good blue raspberry flavor without the soapy thing is to keep it between, you know, around five or 6% and then back it up with another flavor, which you'd need to do anyway. Cause it's so, cause it has that bland bottom in. So, so you're fixing two things at the same time. Mm -hmm. What? 
I wanted to mix Favora Blue Raspberry with this. Yeah. Because okay. like I said, one is yin and one is yang. Like they're very opposite, but they're both very sweet and they're both very blue. Mm-hmm. So what I yeah. did was I did 2% Favora Blue Raspberry and 3% uh-huh. water flavor sour blue raspberry candy. That's right about okay. where I use it at is 3%. Was that enough to top it off nicely? The it was. It, awesome. This combination is as close to like a complete blue raspberry flavor besides going crazy like a blue frost recipe that I've come across. It, it works beautifully. To date, my favorite flavor for um, for that, for helping the Wonder Flavors Sour Blue Raspberry Candy has been Vape Train Boysenberry, of all yeah. things. But that I'm, might okay. that might change because as soon as I tried Bavora Blue Raspberry, I was like, ah, there, so as there soon it is. Told me you used <laughs> I just haven't actually tried it yet. As soon as you told me you used boysenberry in your, you know, that reminds me, like, you know, I've done that before. And so I mixed, I also mixed up a version of Wonder Flavors Sour Blue Raspberry Candy and the boysenberry. Uh-huh. And although it is very similar to the Favora Blue Raspberry combo, it's a little bit darker and less blue. It's more black, you know, than, than blue. It's not candy um, enough, okay. what you're saying. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> so um, it's, it's, it's good, but I think this Favora Blue Raspberry really does a better job. So and using Flavora Blue Raspberry instead of my Vape Train Boysenberry trick will be uh, yes. will will be leveling up. Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought when I tasted the Flavora Blue Raspberry. I just didn't have a chance to actually, you know, put that to the test. I'm glad you did. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So did we talk about Nick Vape Blue Ras? Because I have that one too. I do oh, not no, have that. I don't one. think we do. Yeah, I actually miscounted. I have I have fifteen. So oh. Nick Vape Blue Rasp, it was it was the second to the bottom on my list. Oh, uh, it's, oh. <laughs> okay. it's it's dark blue cough syrup. It's disgusting. Uh, oh. It has some weird like artificial grape notes, and it is extremely grape. yeah. Yep, Dimatap? artificial <laughs> art. Yes, Dimatap. That's I was getting to that. It, 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 it is <laughs> nice. disgustingly sweet, just like Dimatap yeah. is. If so Ugh. if you wanted to make a Dimatap flavor, Nick Vape Blue Raz is the one for you. I feel <laughs> ill just thinking about that. No, thank you. No, thank Reminds you of so. the good old days when mom would give you some Dimatap. Hey, I no. wasn't feeling good yesterday and I drank some Dimatap because it was the only thing in there. And I was like, oh, that reminds me of Nick Vape Blue Raz. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank awesome. you for that. Thank you for being so thorough tonight. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, no problem. I really enjoyed it. When are you coming back? You're coming back, right? We've already got you on the uh, schedule. Yeah, gin- gingerbread. It's not until January, though. Oh, January. January. Gingerbread's not in January. Oh, maybe it was in November. I, was I don't it was know. November sometime. Oh, it's the one. November, one January. Actually, it's one of those. It's one of those that starts with a one. It's a, it's, wh- it's a while. <laughs> it's, it's it's November. It's cool. We got time. Well, we're. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to having you back on here to deal with that with us. Yeah, definitely. You uh, have been a very good guest, and thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, it was yeah. truly my pleasure. I really appreciate it. Yeah, very uh, thorough, man. As you guys already know, because Chiba is prepared, next <laughs> week we will be doing Rose. That's right. And I've actually got, <clears throat> I think, maybe the most on the list. I've got a couple that uh, I think you guys are missing. So I am... Uh, I wouldn't I say I'm excited a... about that, but I, I can't say that I am. I only have like <laughs> two or three. Yeah, I think I've got like six. Maybe five. Very cool. Oh, I've got seven, but that's counting one that's technically labeled watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we got some battling to do then, Dave. It'll be, it'll be a fun time. For sure. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. If you like what we do and you want to support us in a fun, tasty way, there's a couple places you can do that. Uh, first off, if you go to Wizard Labs under the EJM logo, uh, we, we the three of us have uh, one shots, CCD, Climbing, and Autumn Sunrise. And uh, if you go to DIYFlavorChaser.com, uh, you can go do slash noted or you can just click on the noted link. Uh, we have a line of one shots there as well. And, of course, we have our recipe packs over at Bull City Flavor, too. So if you want a discount on some flavors you're getting anyway, and they just happen to be in, in recipe packs, at least you have uh, you have a tried-and-true recipe that uh, you already know that you can mix up. 
hey, if we want if we want more rugly and we can't wait until November for that, how would we how would we go about how how can that make that happen? What do we do? Where can we find you? That was for you, Rugly. He's out. Oh, I'm he's, sorry. He's I wasn't <laughs> He's done. He's done. He's already done, man. Where can he we find out. you, Rugly? I have a YouTube channel. It's called Rugly Juice Recipes. So hey. I post up there a couple of times a week. I focus on uh, newer mixers, so people that are just getting into the DIY community. Um, I think there's a lot of unfortunate circumstances surrounding law right now that are pushing people into DIY. Mm. And uh, yeah, I'm really trying to present uh, something somewhere where they can go. Cool. So you uh, like try other people's recipes and talk about them or? Uh, no, um, I have a series called DIY Made Easy where uh, it's okay. a list of 35 flavors and that's it. Uh, oh, okay. And then I, I just make different recipes out of the 35 different flavors. Okay, uh, I've done so a couple, just... uh, gotcha. I've done a couple of other uh, videos where, you know, I just make recipes and then I have uh, a couple of kind of vlog style videos, but yeah, most of it focuses on the newer mixers. Cool, Very man. cool. That's awesome. So there's, not uh, to, there's nothing. It's not there's focused nothing more... on the newer mixtures. It's aimed at the newer mixers. It, yeah, it's aimed them. at the newer mixers. Yep. Okay. Cool. That's cool. Yeah. There's nothing more frustrating when you're just getting into it and you you only have a few flavors where you know you yeah. see a recipe that you want to make and you can't make it because you're missing half of them. So right. Uh, exactly. Uh, yeah. The idea is to just not deviate from that list. And I I've come love up with awesome. quite That's a few such recipes. A good idea. Like going back to mixing with just a few flavors is really fun for me because it's a challenge and it and it, it kind of goes back to your roots and goes back to like how you are as a mixer instead of all these like tools that you have available to you you know how creative you can be with the few tools that you do have like that's right. a really cool idea that's awesome yeah that's another thing is for people that are just mixing so that you know that they don't smoke and because they can't go down the street to get what they need if they yeah. find a strawberry that they like then use that strawberry. You don't need to have yeah. 37 different exactly. strawberries. <laughs> exactly. you know? you find the one that you like and use that one. It's cool. Yeah. For, for sure. sure. Ugly awesome. juice recipes. Regular juice recipes. All right. You've got another subscriber. Nice. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is a wrap for us. We'll see you all next week for Rose. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Everyone have a good night. Yeah, take it easy, everybody. Bye.